Hi, I am going to make a short rant time video. It might be probably longer than I intend, but hopefully it'll be pretty short. I mean, it's a serious subject nowadays, but not when I was growing up without the internet. I didn't get the internet until 1999, maybe the year 2000, and that's when dial-up was still around, so you can be on the phone and on the computer at the same time. So we were on the computer, and your mom gets on the phone, Mom, get off the phone! I'm on the computer! Or vice versa. So, But now it's like, it's everywhere. The internet's everywhere. It's in your hand, in your on your phone, you got a phone, a tablet, a computer, it's just everywhere. You don't have time to not know things. You you can just know at the touch of a button or a screen, a touch screen, which I just really don't agree with. I want to kick it old school, like the 90s, and just have people call me on my house phone. If you want to get in touch with me, call me on the house phone. Call me on the landline. That's it. Page me. I'm going to get a pager. I'm going to bring them back in style. Fuck this. But I got asked to do a rant on cyberbullying. So back when I was a kid, we just bullied each other to each other's faces. We didn't have texting. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have AIM yet. We didn't have any of that shit. We had an Oregon Trail, which is a fucking fun game. And we did, we played computer games. We didn't, you know chat and whatnot really um well at least i didn't um i didn't play like counter-strike or anything until i was much older um i don't know i don't know if you, if you could talk through it then but i'm not sure but anyway now it's it's worse and i feel so terrible for the kids that don't have the what do i want to say you know the power in them to just ignore it and block those people that, I don't know, I am them or Facebook them or just don't even be friends with them on Facebook. Just, just don't. We didn't even have Facebook. You know, we had fucking MySpace. And the biggest concern on MySpace was who was in your top eight. And people would bitch about it. And then you'd get a bunch of spam comments on your page. But nobody really was a dick to you through MySpace. At least not in my experience, really. But Facebook is just everywhere. Um, however you children chat these days, I'm not sure. Um, with the apps, the texting, all of that. If you wanted to talk to somebody, you called their fucking house phone. Their mother picked up and then you asked for the person and then talked to them. Or you could prank call people. That was pretty fun. But you didn't have texting, so you can text them like, Aha, uh -huh, fuck you, you stupid fat bitch, I hate you. You couldn't do that. And you wouldn't do it on the phone because you're, people are probably too afraid to. And they are more likely to say dumber things to your face than they would behind a screen. Because everybody's so much safer behind a fucking screen these days. So, like, when I put this video up, I know I'm going to get some comments about how I'm stupid, my hair's stupid, my face is stupid, I say stupid things, you know? And I don't fucking care. It's the fucking internet. Hello. It, uh, I use it to watch YouTube videos and to research things and to help me with crossword puzzles sometimes when I'm in a jam or take a test online or something or make these videos. I don't use it for evil. Okay? Evil is what you do when somebody deserves it. When they do it first. But not online. Do it in person. Like, bedazzle their jeans. Or replace all of their socks in their sock drawer with fruit. Or put jelly in their pockets. Or something like that. But you don't have to say really hurtful things where kids are just killing themselves. That breaks my fucking heart to know that. I'm, I know... When I was growing up, really, in when I was in, you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, nobody committed suicide when I was in school. Nobody. There was bullying, yeah, in high school, middle school. I mean, I was bullied, yeah, but I didn't give a shit. Because now, these kids are working at Burger King and being assholes, and I'm working on getting an education and working, so... 
I'm actually trying to make something with my life, whereas they are just trying to pretend like they're still the cool kids in middle school. But that doesn't last for fucking ever. Like, get over it, move on, and live your fucking life. You know, it doesn't matter. Why waste your energy to ruin somebody else's day when you could do something far more productive? I don't know, maybe read a book. Maybe watch RuPaul's Brag Race. Maybe get a fish like I did so I'm taking care of her. Listen to a record. Clean your fucking room. Clean your makeup brushes. I did that last night. Used all of my cleaner. I cleaned my room. Just do something else. Don't be a dick. Nothing gets... No, you don't get any payoff from being a dickhead. Unless someone's a dick to you first, and it, it's really, really bad and persistent, and it's to your face, just ignore it. Just ignore it. I know it's the most cliche thing to say, but fucking ignore it. You're tougher than that. You don't need to listen to somebody say, oh, well, you're not worth it. Why don't you go kill yourself? Actually, some kid told me that in fifth grade. He said, you have nothing to live for. Why don't you jump out the window? And I told him that he had a stupid haircut. And then I went home and I laughed about it. Because it's, it was a two-story building. You can't really kill yourself jumping out of a two-story building. So, I laughed at that. And now he is unemployed and really sad. So, I'm kind of stoked about that. Because I know I'm a better person, and I'm not going around making people's lives miserable. I mean, why? And, and to let it get to you is the worst part. That's letting them win. That's giving them ammo. So if you just go, if you laugh in their face, it's like, <laughs> you're stupid. Or if they say to you online the next day, go to school and ask them, Hey, you know what you said to me last night online? Would you like to say it to my face, or do you feel safer behind a screen? Because I doubt you'd say I doubt they would say it to your face, because they have these screens to protect them now. That's what they do. I don't know how school is these days. I mean, I'm I'm in college, not in high school or anything, but. Um, I was five years ago, and I just ignored everybody, and I had the best fucking time. And my mom always told me, as long as you have one really good friend, you're fine. And I had, I had, you know, two handfuls. I still have a lot of friends. I mean, we don't see each other as often because we're growing up, and we have jobs and responsibilities and things, but we see each other on the weekends and at nights and things like that, and we talk. But as long as you have that one friend, you're fine. And if you have no friends, I'll be your friend. I have no fucking problem. I love being friends. I love talking. I will talk forever. I will talk your ear off. And I will annoy the shit out of you if I haven't already. Because I've gotten so many comments that I'm annoying. And I love it. That's my ammo. That keeps me going. Because I keep getting fucking comments on old ass videos I made when I was 16, 15 or 16, okay? I'm 22 now, and I'm still getting comments on them. Like, really? Look at the date when this was published. 2008, 2009, 2010. Get the fuck over yourself. And it's like, oh, well, have fun living in your mom's house. Um, a lot of us live at home. Some of my best friends still live at home. All right? It's not that easy these days. All right? I had my own apartment. I did. And that didn't work out, so I had to come home. And I don't mind it. I really don't. I don't mind it. I don't have to pay fucking rent right now. Aww. I will be moving out soon, though, after I get into college and... I'm doing online courses right now, so once I start going to real school, I'm, I'm out of here. But we're redoing this house anyway. So it doesn't really fucking matter to me. 
and I love my family, so who cares? Who fucking cares? I'm 20 fucking two years old. What am I supposed to be a millionaire and living like having a yacht and in my own office building just like oh yeah I run this shit I'm the CEO a uh, major 500 company oh uh, yeah get fucking real because the people that say this shit to me are in their mother's basements too at least I'm not in the basement I'm upstairs think about that because I got a few of those comments lately and I kept saying haha thank you for the good laugh and I did. I laughed so hard because I have so much other shit going on in my life. I don't give a flying fuck what anybody has to say about me and my lifestyle because they don't fucking know me. They know me for what, 10 minutes on YouTube? Oh well, get over it. And you guys just stay strong and carry on. And just listen to your favorite songs and you know, just, just learn how to get through it. Talk to a friend, talk to somebody else. But I mean, leave me a comment. Alright, well, I have to go because my dogs are barking. But leave me a comment and I hope it'll get better. It really will. High school's fun, but it also sucks. But it will get better. Bye!